Hey everybody, Floyd here. I am going to take you on an adventure right now. Well, in just a minute, I'm going to take you on an adventure. I am, I am on campus at First Methodist. I'm the only one here, and I'm in a place that you've never been before. Even if you're a lifelong member here at First Methodist, you've never been here. It's behind a locked door. Uh, it's, it's a, it's a very tight space that's hard to get into. Uh, and because I'm so limber, I got in here. And I, you even have to whisper when you're in here. Sometimes you could be in here and you would have to wear earplugs, though. But I'm about to show you where I am. Uh, but first, I want to encourage you to continue to be the body of Christ in this difficult time. Uh, call up your, your friends, the people in your small group. Call up uh, the people in your Sunday school class. Or, uh, but, you know, call, call up those folks that you know from First Methodist. Tell them, hey, ask how they're doing. Uh, but maybe add someone new to the list. Maybe add a co-worker uh, or somebody you haven't talked to in a long time. See how they're doing. That's how you're the body of Christ in a time like this. See if there's any needs that you can meet while maintaining social distance. Uh, Tim said earlier that you can... Be isolated and not be alone and that's how you do that you you still continue to build relationships over the phone uh, modern technology now you can call and look at people uh, so do that all right so are you ready you ready to see where we are don't whatever you do okay do not tag this video uh, for Tim Peck do not tag this video for Stephen Turner. Stephen, do not tag them. Okay, don't tag them. Okay, everybody, I've flipped the camera around. I'm going to let you see if you can figure out where we are. Let me show you this. Do you know what those are? Y'all, we are inside one of the two rooms in the organ chamber at Thomasville First United Methodist Church. Um, let me get you orientated here. Can you see through those louvers out there? Can you tell what that is? So that's the sanctuary out there. That's, that's where you're used to sitting out there. And you're looking back towards us now. So we are behind kind of the facade of the organ. Uh, there are some, some pipes out there that you can see. Uh, but we are back behind those. Uh, and these louvers here, by the way, they can be opened and closed by Stephen. He can uh, choose to, to do that from the organ console. But all right, so look, there are lots of pipes in here, and I'm just showing you kind of this front little area right now. I'll turn around in a second. Um, each of these pipes is a note, y'all. We have over 3,000 of these organ pipes in here, and these are some of the smallest ones down here. Do you see that? I mean, these are, are less than the size of a pencil, and each of these uh, is a specific note, all right? And there are tons of them. And notice they got different types of material. Uh, these are wood, wood pipes. Look at those big wood pipes there. I wanna show you kind of some details that I have learned over the years just from serving here. Oh, let me show you the rest of these wood pipes here. So we have these people whose job it is to tune the organ. And so they like tune 3,000 pipes, y'all. They have one person that plays each note and one person back, is back here uh, that, that fixes the pipe or adjusts it. And when I say adjust it, I want to show you some things. Um, do you see how those pipes have little little tops on them they can bend those uh, and adjust the sound that way you'll also see that see those little allen keys down there uh, right right there 
they can kind of turn those and adjust the sound that way. Uh, but this is an absolutely fascinating instrument. Uh, this is a molar organ. We are in one room. We're about to go to the second room. This organ was constructed in the 70s, 1973, I believe. Uh, and it is actually a hybrid of a... Uh, an organ that was built here in the 40s, right? So some of those elements are still there. And I'm on these little chase ways, these little walkways that go up above the pipes. That's how the tuners get to each individual pipe. So, all right, hope you're not getting seasick. Uh, I wanna take you uh, without touching anything, all right? Now don't, don't be tagging Steven Turner, don't be tagging uh, Tim Peck on this, okay? This will just be between us, but I'm not touching anything, all right? I'm not I'm not doing any harm to this instrument. Hopefully, I don't do any harm to myself I'm trying to climb down here. Okay. All right. Like I said, that was precarious. You practically have to be Spider-Man to do, to do what I'm doing. I'm practically a superhero, but uh, okay. This is the second room here. I really like this room because um, we can get a close up of some of these metal pipes and see those little Allen keys that they turn to kind of just tune them to just the right pitch. And these instruments are very, um, I don't know what the word is, temperamental, I guess, as far as the temperature goes. We have to run the air condition to the just right temperature for a certain amount of hours to make sure everything is uh, just right when they tune it. Um, all right, so, so check this out. Again, you see all these little bitty pipes and you see some bigger pipes. Now you wanna see some big pipes. Th these are the pipes when I, I'm about to show you. Look up here, look up on the ceiling. Whoa, those are huge pipes. They come all the way down the wall here um, to the floor. These are the pipes that uh, Steven plays with his feet, all right? So those are the low notes. The biggest pipes are the lowest notes. The little bitty pipes are the highest notes. All right, y'all, I hope you've enjoyed seeing this side of First Methodist, a room that uh, you've never seen before. Um, you'll, you will never see it again, I'm sure. Um, and uh, you're not allowed to come in here um, and we keep the door closed for uh, locked for obvious reasons. It, it can be very uh, problematic if if uh, if a kid were to get in here. So, all right, y'all, uh, love you, uh, and uh, be the hands and feet of Christ this week. All right, bye.